This is the Glossier Body Hero Oil Wash. And this is my recreation. I think we've got this one. Hi everyone, welcome to Whole Lilies. I'm Elise and today I'm going to try making Glossier's Daily Oil Wash. Now this is a rich and moisturising oil that actually cleanses your skin. That sounds like a bit of a challenge, but let's see if we can make it. So you never really know what's going on with the product until you look at the ingredients. And first up, we've got soybean oil. Soybean oil is actually a pretty decent oil. It has great penetration. It's really good for sensitive or allergy prone skin. Now you do tend not to see it used as much in natural cosmetics because the majority of soybean oil is derived from genetically modified plants. But even so, it's great to see a natural ingredient so high up on the ingredients list. And next we have, oh. <laughs> Um, Laura Free, MIPA, Laura Sulfate, as well as Laura 7 Citrate are all surfactants. So they're the cleansing element in this oil wash. Now you would expect to see either soaps or surfactants used in any sort of cleansing product. So there's nothing unusual there. Um, and you can actually get natural surfactants. The, these are not those, but um, <laughs> moving on, we've got um, perfume or fragrance. So with amazing fragrances like this, they have typically been made up of a bunch of different ingredients. Sometimes it can be essential oils, but you'll also find some chemicals and even allergens. Unfortunately, there is no way of knowing exactly what is in this because a lot of companies just like to use umbrella terms like fragrance rather than listing out the individual ingredients. I am a little bit surprised at just how high up fragrance is on the ingredients list. To put this into perspective, this oil wash has more fragrance fragrance than it does grapeseed oil, coconut oil, sunflower oil, sapphire oil, meadow foam oil, olive oil and sesame oil. Um, it's a good thing it smells good. <laughs> We've also got vitamin E oil as well as hydrogenated palm glyceride citrate um, but those are just antioxidants so again that's fairly standard. And finally we have some more fragrance compounds but these ones are typically found in essential oils so again nothing out of the ordinary there. Let's start with probably the most important element in recreating this oil wash, the cleanser. So the main secret as to why Glossier's oil wash feels so amazing is because the surfactants that they use blend with oils instead of water. I'm using a waterless surfactant called Lumerol that uses similar ingredients to Glossier's. Not too sure about surfactants? Don't worry, at wholelilies.com you'll find the full written recipe, along with more information about the ingredients I use and links to where you can find them. Click the eye icon above or follow the links in the description box for the full oil body wash tutorial. Now I couldn't quite get the exact same surfactant blend used by Glossier but fortunately I was able to find another water surfactant that's really similar. Next up we have the oils. Again I'm trying to stick as closely to Glossier's original ingredients as I can. So I'm using soybean oil as the base along with grapeseed oil, fractionated coconut oil which is just liquid coconut oil and olive oil, preferably the extra virgin good stuff. Now do we really need to use all of these oils? Hmm, debatable. Figuring out which ingredients to substitute and leave out of recipes can really help to keep the costs low. So if you've missed my video showing you how to plan, budget and make three months worth of DIY skincare, click the eye icon above. And as for the fragrance, it's anyone's guess. I'm not even going to attempt to recreate that signature scent. But I will use a few natural essential oils to give our DIY oil wash a citrusy sweet fragrance. You don't have to stick to the ones that I'm using here. Feel free to use any combination of essential or fragrance oils that you prefer. So other than being a little heavy on the synthetic cleansers and fragrances, it's great to see that this is a pretty straightforward product. There aren't really any filler or bulky ingredients, it's just a blend of cleansers and oils. This oil body wash is actually fairly simple to make, but there are a few things that you need to watch out for. Begin by pouring your soybean oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil and olive oil into a bowl. We need to make sure that our oils are thoroughly blended together before adding in the surfactants. Any cleansing agent, be it surfactants or soap, will naturally bubble and foam if it's mixed too vigorously. Now this won't ruin your oil wash, but it can definitely ruin your day if you have to spend several hours waiting for the foam to dissipate. To avoid this, mix the majority of your ingredients together now and add the surfactant as a final ingredient. 
Next, add in your essential oil blend. Now full disclosure, this is less fragrance than the original Glossier formula. I don't recommend using any more than 2% of your formula as fragrance, which is double what I would normally add by the way. Using any more than this can cause irritation, especially if you have sensitive skin. But we are still trying to keep in the spirit of Glossier's rather prominent fragrance. Let's move on to our antioxidant. Glossier's formula used vitamin E alongside hydrogenated palm glycerite citrate. But I'm guessing we probably can't pick that up at our local supermarket, so I'll just use vitamin E oil. My regular viewers might recognize this moment as when I would normally reach for the preservative. The best part of this oil wash recipe is that there's no water. No water means no preservative. Great, right? But we still do need to use an antioxidant as it prevents the oils in the formula from turning rancid. Once you've thoroughly mixed all your oils together, making sure that they're completely blended, we can add in our surfactant. Pour the limerol into the oil base, preferably as satisfyingly as possible. And give it one last final stir to ensure that it's thoroughly incorporated. Don't worry if there's still some bubbles throughout, they should completely disappear within the next 24 hours. In terms of both look and texture, I think this recreation is pretty spot on. And it didn't quite show up on camera, but definitely when I was using it, I felt you got a slightly richer lather. Grab the closest resembling bottle that you can find to Glossier's and carefully pour in your oil wash. The true magic of an oil body wash is how it applies. It gently cleanses and moisturizes the skin. There's really nothing quite like it. Now it certainly looks the part, but how does it perform? In a side-by-side -side comparison, Glossier's Body Hero on the right and my DIY oil wash recreation on the left, you can see just how well they work. Applying the oil wash to damp skin, it coats and spreads across the surface just like a regular oil, but once it's exposed to water, it develops a white, slightly foamy consistency as it gently cleanses your skin. Now it is hard to work it into a full lather just using your hands, but when applied using a scrub or loafer, you can get more of a foam. This DIY or body wash is a definite must try for me. As always, you can find the full recipes and more information on my website, holalise.com. So subscribe and click the videos on screen to see how to make even more popular products.